Okay, Dan Thorne, do you have any nicknames? Um, Spike, Thorny, uh, that's about it. Yeah. Okay, any weird superstitions? Um, none at all, really, no. No? No. Okay, that's disappointing. It's a bit boring, yeah. Yeah, it is. What do you do when you're not playing rugby? Uh, I'm in my last year of university uh, okay. up in London. And what are you studying? I'm studying sports science. Okay, and what do you hope to do when you finish? You tell me. <laughs> not too sure yet. Okay. So hopefully in the next few months I'll find out. All right, cool. I've just got some quick fire questions to ask you, okay? Sure. So just one word answers. All right. right. Tea or coffee? Coffee. Press ups or pull ups? Press ups. PlayStation or Xbox? PlayStation, definitely. Map or sat nav? Oh, map. Old map. school. Map, old yeah. school. I like it. Um, embroidery or flower arranging? <laughs> flower arranging. Cool. Um, EastEnders or Corrie? Neither. Okay. Rich or famous? Oof, rich. Okay. Toy Story or Shrek? Shrek. Bungee jump or skydive? Uh, bungee. <laughs> Song or dance? Song. Good cop or bad cop? Bad cop. Texting or talking? Ooh, depends who to. <laughs> <laughs> One word answer. <laughs> we go texting. Okay. Salt and vinegar or ready salted? Salt and vinegar. Okay. Summer or winter? Summer, definitely. Okay. <laughs> have you seen it outside? <laughs> I have, it's grim. <laughs> Final question Invis Invisibility cloak or time machine? Time machine. Okay, cool. Thank you, Dan Thorne. No worries. Andy, we've had a week off and a chance to regroup. What's been happening? Uh, well, we've obviously spent a lot of time um, considering what, what happened down at Bridgewater, which was uh, disappointing. Uh, disappointing that we lost, um, from my point of view, disappointing that we lost by. Uh, 21 points um, you know we felt that we um, that was a, f a game that we ought to be going down there to win um, I've had a chance to, to look at the footage of the game and uh, there's lots of things to, to talk about and that's only just that's only just talking about the first half so um, you know we spent a bit of time looking at that and then just looking at our whole sort of ethos and policy uh, about about selection and so forth so uh, it's important now that uh, you know there's a big big mountain to climb I'm not going to say it's impossible but the only way we're going to dig ourselves out is is working as a team um, and it, it, that means everybody needs to, to muck in and, and not just sort of pitch up and hope they can wing it on a Saturday um, which maybe we've been guilty of doing on, on occasions. Okay so three home matches this weekend. Yes um, of the, the we'll start at the bottom show well, it's the, bottom. <laughs> well, the mighty A's the undefeated yeah. A's uh, I've got Abingdon here um, in the league. Uh, Abingdon, I think, are second bottom. The, the A's are at the top, so one would hope that they will continue that that success. And uh, and the selection headaches go on for for those guys. Uh, lots of people wanting to play for them. <laughs> the Stags will be playing in their solo second team league against Bournemouth, who are top of that. So that'll be a, a tough fixture. That's just sort of the the return fixture from earlier on in the season. Um, so we'll see how that goes and then obviously the first team at home well those two games are kicking off at 2.15 and then contrary to the new reworking news insistence um, we will be kicking off at 3 o'clock um, against China who uh, went top um, the last league round of league games when they yeah. beat Bournemouth so um, clearly an, a, a tough game Them, uh, Bournemouth and, and Reading Engines are clearly the three sides that uh, um, in, uh, are trying to get that top spot uh, and Tuna have snuck it over Bournemouth by beating them, so I'm expecting a pretty yeah. tough test of of everything, uh, and it'll all be about uh, a performance um, on Saturday. Okay, and a certain Mr. Price has returned. Greg Price, yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, Price he came back last week, but he's been difficult to get hold of. Hmm. He's been undercover and keeping his head down and he leaving a man of messages, mystery. Yeah. leaving messages, claiming jet lag would got the better of him, etc., etc. But uh, finally managing to get him here today because um, we are struggling a little bit second row wise, um, and so with Ash Taylor's away and Ben Lewison um, broke a bone in his in his ankle at the last game, so. Um, we were struggling a little bit second row wise, so Pricey came in today, signed his registration forms, sent all them off, and hopefully he will appear on our registration list overnight, and and he, he will move straight into the into the second row uh, for Saturday's game. So it's good to see him back. Um, he hasn't got an accent, which is even better. <laughs> I think Pricey with an Australian accent would have been horrible. <laughs> um, but um, 
you know, he's sort of stepped straight back in, which I'm sure even he was surprised about to some extent. Okay, welcome back, Pricey, and good luck everybody for Saturday. Thanks, Andy. All right.